earthquakes. It died down. Oh yeah, forgot about those. Yeah, a port of fortress. Those walls don't look so portable, though. They are remnants of the old war, and the Imperial Army has availed itself of the added protection. Entry will not be easy. Here. We'll meet again. Sleeping out under the stars tonight. Hmm. Man, this place was crawling with nasties. Bright ideas, Ignis? A dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed. But if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then? We learn all we can about the base's design and attempt to narrow down the Regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. All right! We're gonna get our wheels back! Our goal is the Regalia. 
The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. Together on my signal. Until then, hold position. Three. Two. One. Done. Oh, yeah, like a boss. Stop. What? Searchlights. We're clear. Tread warily. All right. have to, if we keep to the shadows. Right. Target the blind spot. One hit, one kill. Fine form. Keep it up. This what's powering the base? A Magitek generator of some description. It would explain why the troopers in the vicinity are uncommonly strong. I say we wreck it. Spare us the sneaking around. The risk is too great. Finding the regalia comes first. Not a sound. You'll alert the anime. Got it.
right. Not bad. Might still be hope for you. There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. What have we here? Change of plans. Our new objective is to clear the path for the regalia. Opening. <laughs> You're going for an ebony about now. Save the coffee for later. Something to look forward to. <laughs> Stay sharp. It isn't over yet. When will it end? Tough one it went. Fight more. One less. <laughs> Blow up the Let energy tanks! Oh. They'll take out the enemies nearby! Let them do the work for us! We'll take out the generator and all enemies in the area. Noct, focus your efforts on the generator. There's a chance doing so will weaken the MTs. No more stealth? 
Our cover's blown. Go to town. Yes, sir! The entire base is fair game. Hold nothing back. The habit keeps the enemy off balance. Lance are against us. That's not gonna stop us. We needn't waste more time. Yeah. Onward. Yep. Doesn't look too good. Oh, business. I'm so indeed. Oh man. What are we gonna do? We keep at it. What else? Thanks. I owe you one. Bit of more we can chew. Any ideas? Anyone? Come on, let's grab the regalia and split. Piece of cake, huh? Hmm. This part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Pretty sweet busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. That there's a base, we go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever, I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Easier said than done.
Ah, oh, guys? Long has it been, Noctis. Bravis. You received the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the chosen king. Awful high and mighty for an Imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna! I do not serve, I command! The King's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. Hey! Wanna go? Let's do it! Should the Chosen fall, that too is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens, we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravis Nox Fleuray, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo. Last, the Imperial blockades of Disgaean roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to lead their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Ugh. If Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste. Oh, Gladdy. What's wrong? I let you down. I never made it to Kayem. The Empire came while you were gone. None of us said a word about Noct. They just showed up and then... <sighs> Poor Jared. What do you mean? What happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! get away with it. They'll pay for what they've done. I promise. I believe in you, Prince Noctis. I'm taking Talcott, and we're going to Kayim. We... We can't just stay here and do nothing. <laughs> I understand. Thank you. 
I can't let her go it alone after everything that went down. It'll be a squeeze in the car, but just for a while. Shall we then? Yeah, I don't want to keep Sid and Cindy waiting. They're fixing up the boat as we speak. We ought to thank them. Actually, Jared's the one we ought to thank. Yeah. He really thought of everything. <laughs>